Hello all. So, sorry about that little interruption and video cut short. Oh my God, this hair. It's like, I don't know. I'm, I think it's the bangs. But, um, I'd like to hear some feedback on this. Now, this is my friend's take on this. This guy knows the deal. Even though he was trying to convince me, like, age is just a number, blah, 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 blah. But, um, I told him. I was like, you know, this, is, yeah, this isn't long term. This is just, and, and I do like the fact that he's not like, you know, hey, meet me at the hotel. Boom, bang, bang, boom. Okay, be on your way. He, you know, he is a gentleman and he's like, you know, we did dinner first and then the hotel and, um, even first getting to the hotel, he was not like trying to rip my clothes off or anything. Um, he just was like, oh, you know, like talking, how was your day, you know, general conversation. Um, and then, you know, the obvious, he's like, oh, why don't we get comfortable? And um, let's just say he's very quick to get comfortable. And I was like, oh, wowzy, wowza, wowza, wowza. Um, so, and it was very nice. It, and, and it wasn't like, I've heard people that like, oh, he was just banging the shit out of me. It wasn't like that. So it was nice. And he suggested the hotel because he's like, well, I don't want to go back to your place and make you feel uncomfortable. You know, I don't want to go back to my place and make you feel uncomfortable. So why don't I get a hotel? And I was like, okay. So that was nice. Very sweet of him. So... I'm over that. We don't have to meet at a hotel anymore. Um, I think I trust him. No, I don't think. I know I trust him enough to be like, you know, he can come over. My daughter is staying at her future mother-in-law's, as I call her, her boyfriend's mom, um, tomorrow night. And then Saturday night coming to me. So tomorrow night would be best um, for him to come over and from there these storage places this is a snap box like there is storage there's one then there's a development then there's a restaurant then extra space storage there is Oh, there's two extra space storages now. Holy guacamole. I didn't even know that. An extra space storage, a taco box place that has been here like forever. And probably the minute they want to sell, the storage place is going to take over because then there's more storage than Quick Jack. There is, they're building storage places every inch. And I just don't get it. Do people need that much storage? Is it that people are downsizing? No, I mean, I got rid of my crap. So, like, nope, nope, nope. See ya, see ya. So, no. But, yeah, so feedback. My friend said, um, if anything, that he will be, I have to get over because I have to go 35, not 36. Um, he will be a distraction. And then it's usually when you're not looking that you find someone. So my question is though, if I meet someone and then, you know, we really, you know, we go out, especially at this singles mingle, 
and then we go out and then you know comes that discussion and he's like when was the last time you know you were with someone and I'll say well my last relationship and I'll just let him assume um, so I think I'll take that route because I don't know how some people some guys would react to basically friends with benefits um and I don't even know if that's what this is friends with benefits because I don't know that we'd keep in touch after this I don't know but um I, this weekend is going to be busy because Saturday is Home Depot craft with my granddaughter workshop, whatever, we build something. Then it's nail appointment. Then we usually do lunch. Then from there... Um, trying to think. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen because my son has to work the new job. And, um, I'm trying to think. 36 is a nightmare. Well, I don't have to go that way. Um, they're having actually a thank you party for them. They were off Monday, so they're making them work Saturday because the store wasn't open yet. And uh, I'm like, really? <laughs> oh, one yawn. I actually, this week, Monday, fell asleep at like 7 o'clock. Um, Tuesday, fell asleep early again, probably by 8. And... Yesterday, close to 11. Oh, but I watched this movie, Wonderlust, I think it was called, with Jennifer Aniston and, oh, I can't think of his name. Oh my gosh, just went out of my head. Um, and it's where they buy this studio and then from the studio, <laughs> oh, sorry. From the studio, um, she's like, thinks she's going to sell her documentary. And she evidently hasn't figured out yet what she wants to do with her life as a career. And he's the only one basically working. And he hates his job, but he does it. Because, well, then the company, the FBI comes in. And so the, the company, sorry. You're given, everybody's given notice, and he's out of a job, so then they want to sell the studio, and she's like, oh, market is down, oh. So basically, the realtor talked him into buying it, because they loved the location, they loved where it was. Oh, oh, oh sorry. West Village, and all that. And then, from there, um... They go out to his brother in Atlanta who has a job for him. And his brother has his own porta potty business. And then his brother is a real whack job. But so then they're like, they, on the way to the brothers, they see a B&B because they want it. And it, it's actually a commune. And these like free spirited people. And oh my God. The one behind me, she's holding her phone and she's screaming and yelling at whoever's on the phone. I don't know if she's screaming and yelling at them, but she's screaming and yelling and mad as hell about something. Um, but there, they pull down the driveway and there is a naked guy. And so they try to back up and they flip the car and then they wound up staying there and find out they, it is a bed, bed and breakfast. They let people stay there, but then they decide to go back when he can't stand his brothers because they were there for two days and they were like woohoo you know and they thought it was great and 
never happier and all this. And then they turn around and um, from there, I'm so sorry. I haven't yawned in quite a bit with my videos, but I haven't made many. Um, so they decide, let's go back. You said we were never happy there. So they go back and then they said they'll give it two weeks. She's not on board, but he wanted a month. He said two weeks. And then they decide. And then, you know, they go through all this. And in the end, she really wants to stay. So then he leaves. And then he comes back. And, of course, you know, I won't give away the ending. But that's the gist of it. But I thought it was a very good story. And I've never heard of it. So it was probably just on Netflix. So that was a very good story very good movie for me to watch last night um and kept me awake didn't fall asleep I did my book club walking so I think I told you this on the previous video over 10,000 so that is no one's here at the office I didn't expect anybody to but I gotta clean up my desk and everything but so this is another short one but um I will do maybe one later when I'm walking. Oh my gosh. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.